to Kids Changing the Future. Now many of you might have heard a term called climate change, but may not understand what it means. You may not have ever heard of it before. That's why Earth and I are here to help. Over the next few episodes, we will be looking at what climate change is, how it affects everybody and everything on Earth, and what we can do about it. Let's start. Climate change basically just means a change in the climate and climate patterns. But what is climate? Well, before I explain what the climate is, you need to know what the weather is. The weather is what we see and feel every day. For example, tomorrow could be a rainy day, a sunny day, or a windy day. Oh, okay. But how does a change in climate happen? Well, the climate has been changing over millions of years, ever since I can remember. But human activity has actually caused a major change in climate faster than I have ever seen before. So it's like I'm wearing a thick coat because it keeps getting hotter. So people are using too much energy and creating pollution by things they are doing every day. Using household appliances like the air conditioning or heating when we don't need to. Using too many appliances like the television, computers and gaming consoles and leaving them on standby, which also uses a lot of energy. Driving when you could be walking, riding a bike or taking the public transport and creating too much waste. Of course households aren't the only ones to create pollution and use too much energy. Businesses, farms and factories all add to climate change. But Earth, I'm confused about how all these are making you warmer and changes the climate. Let me explain. Mostly everything on Earth has an element called carbon in it, including humans, animals and plants. When a tree tea composes, for example, the carbon goes into the ground. Over millions of years, this becomes fossilised. Humans then use these fossilised remains like coal and oil to run cars, trucks, factories, lights, electrical plants and machinery. To get the energy from these fossilised remains, people have been burning them like they do in an electricity plant. Ah, oh, that's why it's called fossil fuels. So, when fossil fuels are burnt, the pollution from it goes into our atmosphere. Yes, the pollution made by humans called greenhouse gases. So is carbon the same as carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas which is important for keeping me warm. As it traps the sunlight coming in from the sun during the day and keeps me warm at night. This is also good for everyone and everything on the planet because the climate is just right for everyone to live comfortably. But. What is happening now is that too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is trapping too much heat in, which can't escape. The extra heat then interrupts the climate. I understand now. Climate change is caused when people use energy and power from fossil fuels. This then causes greenhouse gases including carbon dioxide, which goes into our atmosphere and then traps sunlight from leaving the earth. This then makes it too hot on Earth and causes a change in the climate. Correct. But why is this all bad for you, Earth? We will find that out in our next episode, so stay tuned. Bye for now.